Hi everyone, this is your math guru. In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate the summation of the following trigonometric sequence as shown. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button below for more easy to understand math concept. We have evaluate without using a calculator the summation of cos squared a from a equals to 38 degrees to 52 degrees. Note that the key word here is or sentence without the use of a calculator. Therefore, I will start by expanding the first few terms and the last few terms. So what that means is a lower limit is 38 degrees. So I have summation of cos squared a starting from 38 degrees. We have cos squared 38 degrees. Plus, remember it's a summation, cos squared, 39 degrees, plus cos squared, 40 degrees. That goes on until you get to the last few terms. I'm going to start with cos squared, 50 degrees, cos squared, 51 degrees, and the last term cos squared 52 degrees remember our upper limit is 52 degrees you will observe that every term has its own co-function if you look at cos squared 38 degrees i can merge it with cos squared 52 degrees i have cos squared 39 degrees i can merge it with cos squared 51 degrees and so on until you get to the middle term which stands alone. Note that if I have cos squared 38 degrees plus cos squared 52 degrees, this is the same as cos squared 38 degrees plus the co-function of cos 52 is sine 38. So if I square that, that will be sine squared 38 degrees. Using a trig identity that states that cos squared theta plus sine squared theta equals to 1, what that means is this is going to give me 1. My theta in this case is my 38 degrees. Let's look at another pair using cos squared 39 degrees plus cos squared the partner will be my 51 degrees why because the core function of cos squared 39 degrees of cos 51 is sine 39 degrees and that is squared so using the same trig identities that will give me one invariably what that means is this is going to go on for each of the pairs. I also have cos squared 30, cos squared 40 degrees, that's the next term, plus cos squared, the next term to that will be 40 degrees. That will be 50, and that will also give me 1. So that goes on for each of the terms if you pair them up until you get to cos squared 45 degrees which is the same as the square of using our special angles that's root 2 over 2 all squared and that will give us 2 over 4 which is the same as 1 over 2 therefore in summary the summation of cos squared a starting for 38 degrees until you get to 52 degrees is going to be we're going to have one in seven places so i can say that will be seven times one as shown plus the last term we doesn't have a pair that's cos squared 45 so i'll take that as one over two and that will give us seven times one 7 plus 1 over 2 and that will give us 
15 over 2 or 7 1 over 2. Thanks for watching. Bye.